Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa. Today I've got a fan favorite, another Walmart haul. So this first dress is probably the underdog of this entire haul and of probably Walmart this spring. It is a beautiful chambray material, midi length dress. Now I'm gonna show you as is, but hang with me because this is so versatile, it's incredible. So again, I got it in the chambray. It is a size small, 1998. I found it in store, so you should be able to just go to your local Walmart. If not, all of my links are going to be in the description box below, so you can easily shop them. Just add to cart for your regular Walmart shopping trip. Anyway, back to this. Fully pocketed, really, really cute, and it just is super cozy and comfortable as is. But let's start styling. I just have it styled with some knee-high suede boots. These are a couple seasons old of Sam Edelman, but they always come out with uh, very similar styles, so I'll link a few below. Again, not Walmart, Sam Edelman. This dress, I love it belted. I think it just changes the entire look of it. I threw on just one of my scarves that you know is a favorite of mine and I have my Target bag, but I feel so chic, so cute. I think this is beautiful and I love that the wide belt on this pulls it in at your really like most um, narrow part of your waist and it just makes the skirt part of it flow beautifully. It does make the um, hem come up just about an inch or so because of pulling in but not a problem at all it's still below my knee and it's super cute I love 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 this look so I just swapped out my belt for a black belt and um, because I wanted it to match this amazing hat so I guess we'll start there if the hat looks semi familiar to you I just let me show you a couple of things this is a Banana Republic hat. This is the same exact one as what I like to call my Simply Sarissa hat that I always wear year after year. This is definitely a little bit of a splurge for a hat, well under $100, but just really great hat. I was in store and found this scoop hat for $19. The difference is it's a little bit bigger, but it has basically the same top and the same color, the same band, so, so similar. Then this one actually is probably a little better for most people because these are sized hats, so you have to buy small, medium, large. This is a one size fit all and it's adjustable and look at the lining in this. So not only did I grab this, but but I grabbed this one as well, and it is so beautiful. Look at the black and the white on it. I absolutely love the pattern, and you know I have a very large head, and so I have the one size fits all, and it's fitting me perfectly. But if you have a smaller size crown, you can actually just pull the little tie string and get it to fit you. And I actually am loving the bigger brim because it provides a little bit more protection and kind of just adds a little more to your outfit. So $19 scoop. Again, I found both of these in store, and they also have a beautiful pink and orange colored hat if you're really into those bright mixing colors that's really on trend this season as well. They do have that, but it was just a little bit much for me personally. So I went with these two and I am in love and I paid so much less than I did for my Banana Republic hats, which I still love, but there's always room for a look for less. Back to the dress, I actually am just pairing it with this whole black and white theme. I have these beautiful sandals on from Time and True. I will get a close up of them for you. I got these in what I would call a bone color. They also have a beautiful lilac, which I will show you as well. They are so comfortable. They have a wider footbed and a square toe. And I just love how easy it was to just throw them on with this summer dress and pulled up the sleeves. And I have it paired with my little clutch that I got from Target that I've been featuring. And I feel so put together in this dress. So I just can't wait to wear this in later spring and into summer. Moving into a close up of the sandals. Really, you guys, if you want a good sandal that's very, very on trend and still holding up, it's this kind of puffy leather look trend. So that covers two things in one this season. Leather, which is going to be everywhere, and also this like puffy shoe, which you're going to see. So I got mine in a size 10. I was able to find them in store. They were fully stocked in store. So make sure that when you hit up your Walmart, you check it out or you can go online. So um, and don't be discouraged if you start checking out these things on the website and they are out of stock. 
just be a little bit patient because Walmart does a really good job. They sell out really quickly because a lot of people start featuring these items on their videos, but then they do restocks. And since it's so early in the season, you're definitely gonna be able to find these. And again, my store had so many and all these size choices. So look at a little bit more of a squared toe. And I love that the white doesn't go all the way to the edge because you know how it is. You always bump your shoes and it gets a little yucky anyway. Really constructed very well. They are on the thin side but they do have that memory foam as does all of the time and true shoes and really good grip it's almost rubbery on the bottom so you're not going to be sliding around I got my true size 10 and these are $14.98 so definitely deal of the season then I couldn't help myself. This uh, lilac type of color is going to be everywhere this season. And although it's not a color I'm going to wear clothing wise too much, I tend to steer away from real hardcore trends. Um, but I like to incorporate them a little bit in ways that are just a little more user friendly and in things that I know I'm gonna swap out from season to season anyway. So this beautiful shade of lilac. So this is definitely a super fun find. You just, you would don't want to sleep on these. While we're talking shoes, I also want to show you another pair you're going to see a lot, and these are so cute. I love these for sandals because when you get something that's your skin tone, it actually helps elongate the leg, and for summer, whether you're wearing cropped jeans or shorts or dresses or skirts, you want to kind of elongate your leg. So having something in your nude tone is really perfect for your feet, and these were just so fun and feminine and a really great color for me. They also had other uh, colors. Colors. I think they had a white they have um, a really pretty turquoise if you like a fun turquoise so yeah definitely look at these I got my size 10 in these and they have such a cute bow again memory foam same construction almost as the others except um, these do have like a little bit more padding on the edges. Now what I will say though is for some reason these are running a little bit they're not narrow, I don't know what to call it. I feel like this right here is a little tiny bit short, if that makes sense. So when you slide your feet into them, they sort of feel tight on the top right here. They feel like they're pulling down on your foot a little bit. So I'm going to walk around in these in my house and see if I can get them to break in a little bit better. I'm assuming they will because I think that this leather will stretch a little bit. But I just want you to know that going in. Even though these are darling, they may not fit for everyone, especially if you have like a higher up foot. Um, you just wanna be aware of that. So super cute though, and if you do have a smaller, more narrow foot, I think it would definitely fit perfectly. Again, I got my larger size 10, and these were also $14.98. Next few pieces I have for you are this. Let's get started with the dress first. This is a wonderful dress, free assembly. They just came out with this for spring. It also has other color options, including a green gingham. But green is just not for me, even if it's on trend. Um, of course, this is a true navy. I absolutely love it. And I will show it that how I have it styled and then also by itself. So what it is, is it's a midi length, 100% cotton dress. It does have side slips that go um, up to about the lower thigh. So um, really lovely, makes it easier to walk. It is not lined, but this fabric is so well made and so thick that you don't really have to have anything special underneath it. The only part that is doubled is this little section right here, so it feels thicker on the bottom, but I appreciate that because it actually adds weight and keeps the dress from flipping up or acting weird at the bottom. It's actually a very simply made dress. I just have it paired with uh, some simple nude uh, pumps that I always have. They're a Calvin Klein pump that I could just wear all day. I also uh, put on my belt. This is a very special belt. I think you can find it at Nordstrom. I'll put the link below. But I just did it to add some little bit of color and um, dress up the dress to show you that it, even though it's a simple cotton dress, it can be even worn to work or out into a nicer environment. And it does have uh, both pockets and they are fully functioning, so that's comfortable. I threw it on with this lovely little sweater that I actually found in store. It's very lightweight. It's a cropped cardigan, time and true. I got it in a size uh, small, four to six, and it is so affordable. I believe it was 
$15.98. And I will be styling this again for you in a little bit. It is elastic around the waist. So you basically just slide it over your head to put it on. It does have a tie back with a little bit of a keyhole opening there. So that obviously can be opened up so you can slide it. But honestly, uh, it has stretch here too, which I love because it keeps it where it needs to be at your neckline, but you don't have to untie it to get it on and off. So I really like that for convenience. But again, I just think this dress was just really well executed, um, really affordable, obviously, for assembly. And um, again, different color options. So this, I just styled it into what I would call like a spring or a work environment. But this could just as easily go just really casual into summer. And let me show you that next. The black and white hat. And then you could throw on the bone colored shoes. So that would be super simple great swap out. I love this season because um, what they've come out with at uh, Walmart this year, you can mix and match in just really unique combinations. So even just changing up the look a tiny bit, I could easily have this and I could take the white sweater with me so that if I get cold, I could throw the white sweater over my shoulders. I could also style this again with my little clutch or I could use it as a crossbody. Let me pull that and show you. Love, love, love all of these things that are working so well together this season. I mean, really, this just changes the look 100%. And so now I've got a completely different look. I love it. I did forget to mention, though, with this dress, because of the way that it cuts, this is my normal bra. And this would be showing constantly. So... I'm gonna to have to play with my bra choices for this uh, particular top. I think that a racer back would look okay if you have the correct one that doesn't show through the keyhole. So if mine does, I might have to go with more of a strapless or a sticky bra. Um, or you could easily throw on one of those really cute racer back lace bralettes. And so even if the lace peeked out the back, it would be totally fine. So that's just another way to get away with wearing a more normal bra with this um, particular dress but I am just I think it's so cute I think it's so versatile really soft and just cute 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 time and true short sleeve sweater top I love it it has the rounded bottom hemline that kind of comes up and goes back down uh, $14.98 I found this in store time and true again really soft I mean really soft there's no itchiness about this sweater nothing tight about it and i love it because it's completely work appropriate in multiple environments and it's long enough that you could actually tuck it in if you needed to into pants or a skirt uh, fitted enough that you could throw a blazer or a jacket over it very easily but for today i actually just styled it with my ah, beautiful beautiful white jeans you can't really go wrong with a lot of the free assembly jeans. And uh, these are from probably one to two seasons ago, but they are holding up so well. I love them. They were more of a high rise, like a 90s kind of fit. Really great. I have this whole look put together, just super casual, but just easily just, I could go out and run errands or go to lunch in this with the bow sandals. And um, I love the color and the tone on them, and it doesn't really cut me off. That's a hard thing to deal with when you're wearing white pants. Um, I feel like you don't want to go too crazy on the bottom. So I love that. It kind of elongates the leg a little bit still. I love the combination, obviously, of tan and white and navy, so it's really good. And um, I just paired it to kind of tie it all together with this Target backpack purse that has the same tan and like a bone color in it, just to give a little bit of texture, but still keep all the things together. I'm just gonna let this dress speak for itself. I believe it is the Scoop brand. It comes in two different color options, this traditional black and white, and then also that orange and pink combination, which like I said, is really on trend. You're gonna see a lot of mixing of bright colors this season, but for me, again, much more comfortable in a black and white look. It does have the white on the top and the black on the bottom, obviously, which is very flattering and I believe a better combination, especially for a pear-shaped body type. I believe this is a medium size eight to 10. It is actually a sweater dress. So let me get a little bit close up for you. Try to show you some of the ribbing if I can. The white's a little blown out, so you might not be able to see that. But it is a very um, thin sweater material. Not itchy at all, completely stretchy. Again, I 
probably could have sized up if I wanted it to be like a little more loose fitting. Um, but because it has actually like this handkerchief and a high-low all mixed together in the bottom and it flares out, I decided to go with my true size just to get a real feel for how it fits. Um, again, hardworking Spanx on this bad boy, but I don't think it looks terrible at all. Um, it would be a little looser of a fit in the large, but I would say go to your true size if you, you know, were comfortable right now in your true size. It does not, it's not skin tight is what I'm trying to say. Um, really, it's kind of unexpected. It's not something I thought I was going to like, but I feel really good in it. And I just put it on with some nude pumps for now, just to let the dress speak for itself. And again, carrying this bone colored clutch, I think it works with just about anything this season. And I love this last detail I wanted to show you. It actually has the black around the wrist. And I just think that that adds like an even, just, just a one detail that just kind of changes the whole thing that makes it even um, more elevated. I really feel like the look of this dress is much more high end than a $36 Walmart dress. Scoop, again, is just killing it. I think this is just wonderful. And if you don't want the full effect of the dress, I believe they are carrying just the skirt in this same material and in the same cuts with a few different color options. I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to style this one more way for you just to show you that there really is some versatility with this type of a dress. Um, I really just threw it on with some nude colored flats that I had gotten at Target uh, for fall. So really any nude flat or slide would work really well. Uh, even if you were going into late or spring, you could probably do like a nude nicer sandal. And then just to add a little bit of dimension, I threw on my snake print backpack and I just threw on the black hat but it's interchangeable with any hat really because they're truly in neutral colors but you could just as easily you know go walking around on a Saturday shopping in this and be just as comfortable as anything and I love it because you could just pop into brunch or lunch and just really feel like you're put together enough to do whatever it is that you need to do for the day. Last look, I promise. I realize that there's many of you that are still in the cold weather and you're going, what are you doing with these sandals, right? So what I did was I threw this dress on with my brown suede boots. I think they look amazing with it. Just threw a scarf on and even a jean jacket if you'd like. So you can just really use this dress well into all of the seasons because of the material on it. Next up is this really sweet little kind of a peplum top kind of a little bit of a baby doll it's a little bit of a combination of both it's time and true I got the small four to six so I would say definitely size down um, like I said I normally wear a small medium ish but in time and true everything runs big so I have a small in this $14.98 I found it in store they also had a few other color options like a uh, I believe a bone white and they may even have a lilac in it but I love the black because I just think that it looks really good especially with white jeans and these are my free assembly white jeans that I purchased a season or so ago if they still have them available I will link them below if not I will link very similar ones in free assembly jeans you always want to size up though they do run small and they are a true cotton so they don't stretch a lot but i love these jeans i constantly wear them i just have this blouse paired with um the lilac shoes actually just to kind of add a little bit of fun and pop but this could just as easily go with the nude shoes that i showed or even the bone color all of them are interchangeable and that's what i'm loving about this season of the clothing that they're coming out with you can mix and match them beautifully again i just paired it with this little snakeskin print backpack that i found at target a while back links will be below for that as well um, but back to this top it's so cute it does have a little bit of an elastic on this sleeve so you can actually pull it down if you'd like and get it just below your elbow but then you can hike it up as much as you would like actually and change the sleeve depending on your mood or however you want the look to go 
for your outfit. And it actually has this really lovely little detail. It's a very thin, like cotton-like material. It's very soft and smooth on the underside, but the outside has a little bit of texture. Hopefully it's blown out enough that you can see that. This is actually like a three-dimensional texture. You can feel it. It's kind of nubby and soft. And it just has that little like almost Swiss dot look to it. Note, I forgot to mention the back actually has that little bit, um, just a little button closure. So you, I could slip it on without opening that, but if you need to, or you're really worried about your hair or makeup, you could easily unbutton it and slip it on and then button it back up. So really user-friendly. This next top is, they're calling it a smocked crop top. Now I know I have a short torso, but I would not qualify this as a true crop top. Even just wearing it as is, it's definitely hitting like right at the top part of my hip. And this is hitting at my natural waist and it is ruched, but it's like very stretchy. And so it's just super comfortable. I love it. I got a size medium. It is scoop. So I did order it online, $22. It does other come in other color options. But again, I just am really loving this black and white moment. And I just have it um, with my, my Simply Sarissa hat that I got at Banana Republic a few seasons ago. And then I kept on those just nude color sandals. I think it's a great look. You could just grab, you know, the little clutch. You could grab a backpack purse, anything that you want, or you could add a pop of color or even some texture with the basket weave purse with this. Uh, it is 100% polyester, if I didn't mention that already. Super soft, really, really lightweight and comfortable. But the reason why I love this is it is as lightweight and comfortable as a tank top, but I don't have to worry about bra and I can wear this in a work environment as well and feel completely covered up. Um, I think it's a really fun look on a blouse. I like the way it fits my arms. And as a pear shape, I love that when you're looking at me straight on, it gives me a little bit more of an hourglass figure because it cinches in here, pops out a little bit like a true peplum. But then if you're looking at the lines, it creates almost an upside down triangle. So it kind of widens my shoulders and balances out my body. So I love looking for pieces like this that do that. And as far as the texture, it is a very, very thin, lightweight material, like I said, but super soft. And it has um, a little bit of a texture to it, I would say. It's more of like a vertical crinkling, if that makes any sense. I did steam it. Uh, to get true wrinkles out. So it, this does not look wrinkled in any way, but it does have just a little bit of texture, which I think elevates it a little bit. It doesn't look like a normal knit. And then of course, there's this tiny, tiny bit of a little bit of ruffling that goes all the way around on the sleeves and all the way around the neck, but look how loose this is. So completely comfortable and doable. And then the back is again, the little button closure. So this one I did definitely, um, unsnap to put over my head, but it was easy. Just it has an elasticized little hook, so it was fine to put back on. Um, I probably could have squeezed it over my head, but I didn't want to push it. So again, just easy, easy. And then um, they, it has a little bit of that ruffling on the edge, but it's not a separate ruffle. It's just part of the material. So again, another just go-to piece. I'm going to wear this all spring, all summer, and it's easily covered up with a sweater or a jacket. You don't have to worry about any bunching because there's no padding. Super cute find. Next piece is so fun. This is a scoop color blocked blazer. It comes in two color options, currently the black and white and also the hot pink and bright orange. Now, if you go to look for this, don't worry. It's probably going to be sold out at temporarily, but like I said, Walmart has been doing a great job of restocking. So make sure you kind of add it to cart or add it to your wish list and then keep, you know, searching for it. Uh, it will come back and it is $50 really, really well-made, very professional, longer cut blazer. Love this. It's a single button and this color blocking just changes the game. It really elevates your normal, what I would call suit jacket or blazer. And I just threw it on with a black cami and some cropped 
uh, slacks that I have, I guess you'd call them. I had them uh, from a few seasons ago from Banana Republic. And I just, I'm loving the cropped look for uh, coming into spring. Put some nude heels on it just to elongate my legs. And I went ahead and buttoned it because that's probably how I would have it if I were going to work. I love this. Again, it kind of instantly creates a power suit. But at the same time, I could take this all off and wear it easily with a t-shirt and some really nice like dark wash jeans. I could have so much fun with this and I could pull the sleeves up and unbutton it and just give it a completely different, more casual vibe. But it would easily dress up a t-shirt and jeans with some really cool shoes. So I'm loving, loving, loving this. I think because of the length, it would look really good also with like a bodycon style dress. I think that would just totally up its game. I love this. It is fully lined. Again, scoop, $50. I got the size medium, 8 to 10, which is pretty much uh, standard for me in the scoop line. The mediums seem to work really well. I love the lapel on it. Uh, it's just very structured. It does have shoulder pads. So yes, it does give you a little bit of those 80s vibes. But personally, I love this, uh, again, for my body type. And I just love how it hangs. It does, I believe, or does it not? I don't think it has a slit in the back. I can't feel that. But it does have uh, side pockets that I believe will be functional. They just are sewn in at the moment. I'd have to take that out. This is good. I love this. And for the $50 price point, I did a little bit of searching and there are brands that are carrying color blocked blazers that run anywhere from 80 to like $450. So $50 is really, really a steal for this type of blazer. Love this look. I mentioned that I love that they did this with the color blocking. They left the white off of the back and that is a really good thing because if you just had a big white strip going across your whitest part, it would definitely widen any silhouette out. And so I love that they just threw it on in the front, but yet you get that streamlined look in the back still. I wanted to give an official moment for this little cardigan that I found in store. Again, time and true, a uh, size small four to six and this cardigan was $15.98. I just wanted to show that you could technically wear this as a sweater alone if you wanted to. Um, I kind of pulled it just a little bit so that it kind of loosens in the back and kind of created a high low, but it so that it wouldn't be super low on me. And actually, I'm still wearing a cami underneath just for security purposes. <laughs> you, of course, wouldn't have to do that, but I am just because that's what I would do. Um, but again, I chose to not let it peek through, so it looks like I'm just wearing this as a sweater and it just shows off your neckline really great and you could wear just a beautiful necklace with it if you wanted to or easily throw a scarf on pulling the sleeves up works really well on this as well it's um, not itchy at all I think it's super cute and uh, it is short on the shorter side when you do do that so it just hits at your just below like where your belly button would be but uh, super cute again comes in multiple color options as well and I think this would be a really versatile piece to wear obviously from early spring all the way through and even carry you through the summer because especially in office environments or going from like the heat outside into even like if you're shopping at the mall or something you know going back and forth into restaurants it gets from air conditioning to heat and you just want something to throw over it's a very lightweight sweater but it would definitely do the job and you could use it anyway and again I could just poke it out if I wanted to and just create that little bit of a look too yeah super cute find especially for the price this blazer is a 100% recycled polyester it's the scoop brand i got the size medium 8 to 10. it is classified as a boyfriend blazer and it has scrunch sleeves so these do not go all the way down they are actually sewn up and i'll get a little closer and show you it has about three little scrunches uh fits really good uh, it's not uncomfortable on my elbows i like it the full price was $40, and I went ahead and got this kind of neutral nude color because I thought it would go really well with lots of the other colors, navy, black, white, and then really I could throw it over anything else because of the color. It does have pockets, I believe. Yes, they are just sewn in right now. Um, the inside is fully lined and fully finished, so if it does flap open, it's not going to look cheap in any way. It does definitely have more of a polyester feel on the outside it is kind of a smooth surface I wouldn't say shiny but kind of a little bit of like a satin um, 
kind of finish if you were comparing it to paint. <laughs> it does not have a pocket, but these lapels go all the way down below my belly button actually, and they are um, kind of sewn pin tucked right here, so they stay in place. I just did a light steam on it, and it just really just steamed out beautifully. I like the hemline on it. I love that it's below my rear end. So it kind of covers everything. If you had it on with skinny jeans or anything like that, it would cover everything that it needs to. I think it would also look really good with a body con dress and of uh, any other colors. And you could also dress it down a little bit with maybe that black sleeveless top and some white jeans with the sandals. I think that would be a great look to be out and about for the day as well. But I just uh, paired it with all navy so you could actually see the entire blazer. This free assembly utility jacket is giving me complete Banana Republic vibes. It is so well made. I love it. I actually already worn this jacket all weekend. I took it with me on a trip to the coast and I just threw it on over absolutely everything. I kept on the white jeans just so you could hopefully see the tone difference. This is a little bit more of a creamy white kind of a bone color and then the pants are a little bit more of a true white but I am not sad about it. I actually like this tone on tone because this jacket actually matches these shoes perfectly. That's the exact tone of the shoes. And then I just kept the black uh, shirt on just for convenience. But this jacket, so cute. It's got that real thick, thick kind of canvasy cotton feel. It was $34. It has true buttons that go all the way up. So if I wanted to, I could button it all the way, which I did at one point when it got really windy. But if you don't want to, you can actually just throw it on a little bit like a cardigan and tie this and it actually holds in place. It doesn't move on you at all. I have the sleeves rolled a tiny bit, but um, if you just roll them down, they have a nice little cuff. You can kind of see that. So it just depends on what your look is or if you have bracelets or something that you want to show off. But full length for me just hits at my little bone here. So that's a really nice length. And again, if you can see these pockets, they are placed absolutely perfectly and they are on the diagonal. So as you're walking, you can truly just slide your hands in and walk. A lot of these uh, constructed jackets like this have those straight pockets on the top. So you end up kind of doing this. This is just perfect, I love it. And it does come in some beautiful colors. It comes in a very rich blue, if you're interested in a little bit more of color. But I loved this creamy color. It's got a true little color, and I believe I got a size medium in this. And if I didn't say the price, $34 free assembly. Really great, unlined spring jacket. Thanks so much for hanging in there. I know this was a long video, but we had such an incredible haul. I just didn't want to edit out any of these pieces. I love them all. I've already taken a few of them with me on a trip and worn them, and they are just beautiful and they wear so well. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite piece of this haul and if you've been shopping Walmart or not lately. All right, until next time, I'll see you soon.